fuck? It's a Yahtzee werewolf. You're fuck. <laughs> Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days! And today we're going to take another look at a Nika figure, and it's from an American werewolf in London. It's the Ultimate Nightmare Demon, which was probably one of the coolest scenes in the movie. I love this, love these guys. Now, the drawback is we only get one figure, but we get all of the heads, which kind of makes you want to go out and buy. Four of these guys so let's go ahead and see if it's worth it jump in there and start off with the packaging so here we have the nightmare demon in the packaging and it's got this uh, kind of really cool articulated cover which is very nice it moves as you move it around I definitely dig that we get all the different heads the logo of the movie down there the logo of the movie at the top Definitely digging that. This side of the package has two of the Nightmare Demons. This side has the other two Nightmare Demons. So just kind of a close-up of the artwork. There's the bald guy. This guy looks like a punk rocker. And then we get the full-on wolf guy. And my personal favorite, the burnt-up Nazi wolf guy. I like him. And back of the package shows all the different variation heads uh, down here at the bottom. And I just wish we had four bodies. This could have been a really nice big box set, but yeah, I guess you could go out and buy this multiple times. So very, very interesting. Inside of the packaging here, you can open this up and we get some nice artwork of all four of the guys. And then a look on the inside. Now looking at this, it looks like one of them has a lighter colored little green army jacket, but it might be the lighting. Here's all the accessories and the figure looking all kinds of cool in the package. Lots and lots of accessories. I definitely dig that. And uh, well, that's about it for the box. Let's get this guy out of package and see what we think. So here we have the Nightmare Demon out of the packaging and he definitely looks cool. I like the body sculpt. It looks like, uh, you know, a Nazi soldier, uh, which is what he was portrayed in the movie, in the nightmare sequence. Very, very cool. Stands well. It's well painted. Definitely dig it. He comes with a ton of accessories here. So we'll kind of go through it. Uh, here is one of the heads. Now this particular head was a pain in the tuchus because I had to shave out some of the neck hole in there to get it to stay on the figure. So be aware of that. This one is very cool. Very well sculpted. Wolf. This one always reminds me of like a punk rocker, but uh, yeah, so he's kind of cool. Very well painted. We get uh, a little torch. I like this accessory. That looks really, really cool. Very nice. Dig the translucent plastic. And then we get some alternate gun hands. They look about the same as the ones he has already. This one does have a trigger finger open, so it's kind of cool. And then we get a bunch of uh, weapons. So we get a couple knives, one with blood and one without, like the little silver buttons on the handles. Very cool. And then we get some guns. So we get uh, this cool looking little machine gun. Very nice. Get another machine gun. Very, very cool. Um, this piece is a little rubbery, so be aware of that. And then we get a kind of longer rifle semi-automatic rifle maybe an automatic rifle so pretty cool lots of guns and accessories so i definitely uh, dig that now um articulation on this guy the head is on a ball joint moves around um, there is a diaphragm joint in there so it goes back and forth and up and down arms go that far up they spin all the way around there is a joint at the elbow with a twist right there hands are on a hinge joint and also twist um, they are removable, obviously. We got other hands. 
legs kick that far forward, that far back. They're on a ball joint, so they go out a bit. Knee is on a single joint with a hinge, so it will spin around. Now it looks like the boot should have a joint, uh, but there is nothing at the upper boot. Uh, the feet do move up and down, and he's got that crazy ankle rocker pivot we love! With this being his widest possible stance, with both feet still flat on the floor. Taking a closer look at the figure itself, this is my personal favorite head. I love the sculpt. The helmet looks good. The bodies on these guys look really nice, but it's all about the faces, I think. The teeth, the gore, the blood, the slobber just looks utterly amazing and terrifying. And here's a look at the full wolf mode. This is my second favorite. Again, I love the gloss, the teeth, the gore, the gray, and the fur looks really, really good. It's just a nice snarly werewolf looking Yahtzee, and it just, it's really creepy and freaky. And the third head option's a little more punk rock, not quite fully wolfed out. Uh, he's pretty cool. He's kind of got some blood going on his face, some scarring. Again, the teeth and the eyes, the face, all painted super, super cool and gory. And then we have the fourth head sculpt, which is my least favorite. It's the bald one. He's got some nice paint jobs. The sculpt looks pretty decent. Uh, he's got the nice wrinkles on the back of his head, but it was difficult to get onto the body because I had to shave it out, but, you know, that's just a QC issue and is what it is. And then looking at the midsection of the figure, again, the uniform looks good. All the silver on the buttons and the buckles, the belt is nice. We get a lot of shading and a wash on the uniform itself. It's kind of a, a greenish military look and uh, it's got the black gloves very very cool and easy to transpose on the four different figureheads and finally taking a look at the legs of the figure again the trousers look good lots of wrinkles the paint's nice he's got the goose stepping boots that the yahtzees would be wearing which is very cool we get the silver uh, buttons or buckles on the tops of the boots. I wish there was some articulation at the top of the boot, but eh, it is what it is. For comparison, here we have the ultimate nightmare demon with his wave mate, the ultimate Kessler werewolf from an American werewolf in London by Nika. And these guys look amazing together. If you are a fan of the werewolf in London movie, then you definitely want uh, both of these guys for sure in your collection. They just look phenomenal side by side up on the shelf. So is the ultimate nightmare demon something that you want in your American Werewolf in London collection? Absolutely yes. This is a great figure. It comes with a ton of accessories. Now, a lot of completists are probably going to want to get multiples of these to have multiple of those demons. Personally, this particular one that's on the screen is my favorite, the one I always thought was the coolest. So I'm just going to leave it at that. If I find the figure on sale, I may pick up a few more just to have the full out wolf mode one maybe. I don't know, uh, but it's definitely easy army building for those figures. It's a shame we didn't get four different bodies. They could have charged us a bit more and we would have paid for that. But all in all, you're getting quite a bit for your money here and you get to choose which Nightmare Demon is your favorite. So there is the ultimate Nightmare Demon from an American werewolf in London for 31 horror toys in 31 days. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.